I've just arrived in Ao Nang, a small town just outside the Krabi province in the south of Thailand. Like many other people, the main reason I'm here is to go on the four island boat tour. But tonight I'm going to check into my hotel and I get a short taxi or tuk tuk ride to the famous Ao Nang night market. If you like your street food, keep watching. I've decided to check into the Ao Nang Colours Hotel. It's pretty central and at 700 baht a night, which works out to about 18 pounds sterling. That's well within my budget. Thank you very much. Happy days. So entering my room at the room number nine at the Ao Nang Colours bathroom. Fantastic shower, look at that. Hair dryer as well. Not that I'll need it, but toilet. And in the shower, oh my god, look at that. You can actually see the bedroom from the shower. It's interesting. I've never seen that like that before. Closet for hanging my clothes. Look at that. How about that for a massive bed? Certainly be able to spread out in that. Uh, undoubtedly a safety box here. Door, ashtray, cups and everything. Telly, air conditioning, telephone if I want to call reception. And look at this, I've even got a, if I can open it, got some kind of balcony anyway. One there. And an outside view that I'll take a better picture of tomorrow. But look at that, absolutely amazing. The pool at Ao Nan Colours. It's not the biggest of pools in the world, but absolutely suffice. It's what they call one of those infinity pools that sort of like goes over the edge. Yeah, that will do me nicely. Best cure for a hangover, early morning swim. I don't think you'll get 20 lengths out of this, sufficely, but you have to do 40 instead. Anyway, swimming pool that, where I'm staying, the Ao Nan Colours Hotel. From what I've seen so far, this lovely little town, basically Ao Nan is a long street that runs parallel to the beach, which is not a bad little beach, actually. Um, at night time this place is buzzing, loads of little shops, restaurants, bars, trinket shops, souvenir shops, typical sort of holiday, uh, holiday beach town sort of environment. But in the daytime, this place, funnily enough, becomes like a ghost town. Strange but true. Generally speaking, Ao Nang is a busy little town, but I wouldn't class it as a popular holiday destination. In fact, I think most of the people are here just generally for the island hopping, including myself, which is a topic I'll be covering in my next video. But for tonight, I'm going to grab myself a tuk-tuk and head off towards the Ao Nang night market. Night boxing when tonight? Boxing tonight. And just to top it all off, you've got your Thai boxing going on here as well. Training for Thai boxing. I think there's going to be a fight later on. Hopefully I'll come and see that if I have time. If not, then I'll have to save it for another day. One of the main attractions in Ao Nang is the night market. Quite a big venue. Music playing, different shops selling different kinds of, well, souvenirs, shoes, pots, beachwear, massive restaurant, look at that. I mean, this is just like almost a village market. We've got a big, massive main stage over there. Some live music playing. This is like a food market. Loads of fresh seafood, look at that. 
lobsters. Look at the size of those lobsters. Massive. This is food heaven. Hello. Nice little pastries and samosas. Little cheesy bites. I was told there is a food market here, but I didn't realise it would be this massive. over a hot charcoal grill. I will just eat one of those on its own as it is. I need nothing else with it. Peel the salt off the skin. How you doing? Just when you thought you'd seen it all. Oh my God, look at that. Ribs. seafood this is waiting for you grilled squid octopus there we go very popular dish here I have had it before and it is absolutely divine and this looks like something I haven't seen around here is more type of stuff you find in the Philippines it's a helmet crab Call it a helmet crab because it looks like a helmet. And there's not actually a lot to eat in them, but people do like them. Look at that, they even got some mussels here. Cockles. More sashimi. Fantastic. Play a barbecue bat kebabs going on here, and of course, to be expected, your Hello, noodles. Hello, how do you go? Wow, this massive market is definitely one to visit if you're in Al Nang. Don't have anything to eat during the day because there is a fantastic array of food here. Pretty much a little something for everyone. Get more seafood, king prawns, lobsters, cooked king prawns. Look at that, just amazing. Cooked lobster, what looks like mackerel, daddy cap, sushi going on here. Sumi, sushi, call it what you like. Uh, here you've got some squid, look at that. Ready to go, buy the pot. 100 baht, That's £2.50 for a bucket of squid. I don't know if I can handle eating all that on my own, but 
Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I love 